So, hello and happy Friday to everybody. I'm coming in a little bit early just to say hello to a couple of my friends. Hi, Dan. So happy to have you. So excited. We're officially going to be starting in a minute, but I'm just connecting to say happy Friday. If by any chance you're in already and you would like and you have any essential oils wherever you are, I want you to grab whatever is your favorite essential oils because I always start my webinars with a little bit of a meditation and I just find essential oils make such a difference. So if you're in already and you want to grab some oils while we're waiting for everybody else to join, you can do so. It's actually now a Officially 11 a.m. in Jamaica. I know there are many people from around the globe joining us, so welcome. So we will get started right now. So good morning, everybody. Officially, this is Sharon Fiani, live from Antigua Bay, Jamaica, to you all over the globe. Thank you so much for signing up for this webinar. I'm so honored always for people to join me here in this space, in this field of consciousness that we call the internet, where we're able to connect with each other across time zones, across the oceans, across countries and borders. It's amazing. So today's webinar is Feeling Toxic? Question mark. Three days to feeling amazing. So this is a format of the webinar. Let me just turn up my light here a second. Okay. So we are going to be talking about the, what does is, what is feeling toxic mean? Like I just had a friend say uh, last week to me, I feel so toxic. And this is what inspired this webinar. And then it's almost like a universal thing. Another friend said, I feel so toxic. When is your next detox? And then I heard myself say to myself late last week, I'm feeling like it's time for a detox. So. We're going to cover what does feeling toxic really mean? What does it mean inside your body? What, what is causing you to feel that way? And then we're going to go through the 12 major signs that you actually may be in toxic overload. Symptoms that have been happening, that they keep hanging around and not going away. So I'm going to discuss those 12 major signs or telltale signs that your body is saying help me do something. And then we're going to talk about what you can do in three days. Because sometimes doing a detox seems so overwhelming. People are like, oh my God, I can't starve. How can I do without this or that for a week? I just want to introduce you to the concept that if you just take three days out of your week, your schedule, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to feel, go from feeling toxic to feeling fantastic. And then I'm gonna talk about what I'm so excited about is my free three-day detox guided that I'm going to take you through that I'm offering to my entire tribe, June four, five, and six. It is a pre-summer three-day free detox where I'm inviting a host of amazing women to join us who will share their gifts as well as what I'll be sharing with you and we'll take a global detox journey together. So that's what we're going to cover today. Periodically, as I'm talking, I'm gonna pause, put my glasses on, and read any of your comments or questions and answer them, and then go back to the webinar. If you look right below your screen, you should see a button that says, ask a question. You can ask it there, or you can just comment on the side. You'll see here on your right-hand side, you can type in a question or make a comment, but I will stop midway through each part of this webinar and explain or answer questions or clarify anything, okay? So are you ready? Let's do this. So before we begin, before I even do my official introduction, let's take a moment to just get fully present. Some of you might be at work and you're kind of sneaking off. Some of you might be at home. It's Friday, it's a busy day. I'm gonna to try to make this as short and jam-packed with info as possible. So you wanna make sure you have a pen and notepad handy. And I want you to be fully present. So you can really listen in and take in everything that I'm saying and decide if you think 
a three-day detox is good for you if you want to do it on your own or if you'd like to join my global detox. So I love essential oils. Anybody who knows me knows there's always some by my desk. If you have any handy, please grab them. Put some essential oils into your palm. If you don't have essential oils, don't worry about it. But all of us, bring your hands together and just start to rub their, your hands vigorously, whether you have the oils or not. If you've been to one of my yoga classes, you know I always start with essential oils. They're just a beautiful thing. And the year I became a yoga teacher in 1995, I also became a certified aromatherapist. So the two kind of go hand in hand for me. But just this action of rubbing your hands together, you can close your eyes now, indicates to your brain that the mind and body want to connect. So close your eyes, rub your hands together, creating that friction between your palms. If you have oils and heat in your hands, it activates the oils. But otherwise, this action just says to your mind, it's time for body, mind, and breath to connect. So start to tune in with your breath. And let's speed it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you have oils in your hand, cup your hands in front of your face. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. If you have the oils in your hands, stay here. Otherwise, if you don't have oils, just put your hands on your heart. And we're going to begin this morning with 10 slow, deep, what I call yoga breath. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose. We're going to inhale to a count of four. Hold the breath. And then exhale for a count of four. So let's do this. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Four, hold the breath and exhale through your nostrils. Two, three, four, hold the breath out. Again, breathe in. Two, three, four, hold the breath in, feel your fullness and exhale. Two, three, four, and take a moment to just feel the emptiness. Again, inhaling through the nose, two, three, four, holding. Exhaling through your nose, two, three, four, empty. Keep it going, breathing in, drawing the breath all the way to your belly, up into your lungs, holding it. And then exhale as you feel your ribs contract and your belly button move towards your spine you're doing great breathing in bringing into your body into your mind everything that you need today exhaling letting going letting go of everything that you do not need we have five more inhaling two three four holding Exhaling, two, three, four, empty. As you breathe in, feel expansion, extension. And as you breathe out, feel surrender, letting go, releasing. Three more delicious, slow, deep breaths like this. Filling up your body with prana, with life force. Letting go with your exhale, anything that is not serving you in this moment, turn your phones off, be here now, and the last beautiful big breath into your gorgeous body, holding it, and then exhaling, just letting go, letting your breath return to normal, keeping your eyes closed. Taking a moment to be in the deepest of gratitude that for every single thing that has led you up to being on this webinar right now or watching the replay, everything right now, feel gratitude in your heart. And then take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop chin to chest, bowing your head towards your heart. On your inhale, let your head rise and your hands come together in prayer. 
Namaste. Officially, good morning. I hope you feel really present here with me now for this webinar. For those of you just joining, my name is Sharon Fiani. I am here live in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It's my joy and pleasure to have you on this webinar called Feeling Toxic, Three Days to Turning All of That Around to Feeling from Toxic to Fantastic. So Sharon Fiani is a wife and a mother of three beautiful kids. For those of you that don't know me, I'm fully Jamaican, 100% born and bred as we say, say here. I'm a master yoga instructor. I am the founder now of Sharon Piani Lifestyle, the creator of Shakti Activation, which is my seven-day online yoga detox and self-care program that you can do from the privacy of home without taking time off work, without breaking the bank, to turn your entire life around by learning the timeless, true science of health and happiness through yoga, meditation, self-care, and healthy eating from your home so it becomes part of your own lifestyle. And most recently, I am the very, very, very humbly proud author of this, the Live Fit Kitchen Cookbook, which is a collection of over 100 simple, delicious recipes, mostly plant-based, that come from my seven last seven years of taking people on my detox journeys. This book is available on Amazon or on my website if you want to sign copy. And I'm a very proud owner of this book. The reason I wrote this book is that I had seven years ago had to give up my yoga studio, went into a very, very long and hard and heavy depression. I wasn't feeling good. I didn't like how I looked in the mirror. Um, my, I had suffering terribly from an indigestion problem. And I had just moved to Montego Bay, a new city. Actually, I lied. It's not seven years ago. We're now going on into our eighth year here. And I did not know what to do with myself. I would get on my yoga mat and just cry my eyes out. I was suffering from anxiety, sleeplessness. My whole system was completely off. And I decided to put myself on a detox. Being a yoga teacher and a gym owner for 14 years prior to that, well, a yoga teacher for many more years before that, but owning a yoga studio in Kingston, you would think that I would know everything about staying in balance and taking care of myself and being in optimal health. But we are human beings, or spiritual beings, having a human experience. I was having a major human smackdown at that time in my life. And I decided to really look at myself honestly in the mirror, give up some of these things that I was becoming addicted to, like the five cups of coffee a day, to stay awake, the two glasses of wine at night to relax, the Pandal PM to go to bed. Yes, that was me. And taking these pills to heal this indigestion problem that no doctor could solve. These pills were not working. I put myself on a detox, and that did not mean starvation. What I did is eliminated what I now call the bad boys. Caffeine, sugar, alcohol, wheat, dairy, all processed foods, all acidic producing foods, and get back into my kitchen, which I had ignored for the past 14 years because I was so busy holding it together, being a wife, being a mom, running a full-time yoga and fitness studio that was open seven days a week from five in the morning till 8 30 at night i was in total burnout and i used 40 days creating just by myself going back in the kitchen learning how to make high vitality super nutritious foods that were serving my body slowly starting to eliminate those toxic toxic um but the bad boys um, trust me, those caffeine headaches were a killer, but I got through them. And after those 40 days, I came back as literally a completely new person. When I looked in the mirror, I looked 10 years younger. My skin was glowing. I had lost, I think it was in the 40 days, I'd lost eight pounds. Um, I had 
got back my mojo, my energy, my self, my vitality, my good nature, my positive aura and spirit. And that digestive problem that I was having, that was completely gone. And I said to myself, if Sharon Fiani can get herself into that state and can heal myself naturally when nothing else was working, how many other people in the world could I help with this? And this is how my Live Fit Detox programs worked, or began, sorry. I began inviting people to my home, taking them through this journey, cooking all the meals for them. And eventually that grew and grew and grew into what I do today, creating this cookbook and also creating this online program so that I can teach you how to do this on your own. This is the biggest gift I can give anybody. Yes, I'd love you to spend hundreds of dollars with me and come and take a yoga retreat and a detox retreat with me here in Jamaica. But my intention has always been to help as many people as I can live it, live life, and live love. And I want to teach you how to do this for yourself. So more about that later. What I'm going to talk to you about right now is what does, me, what does it mean when you feel toxic? What are the 12 major signs that you might be in toxic overload? what you can do with it in just three days. And then I want to talk about this free three-day detox that I'm offering June 4, 5, and 6. That if you have the time, you must, must commit. And let's do this global detox together. Okay, so what does it mean to be in toxic overload? Before I do that, let me put on my glasses and just check if there are any questions. Yes, let me just check. There's a question here. Is there any reason that you're offering the detox in the middle of the week? Great question. Weekends are so much easier for me. I'd love to be able to do it with everybody. Okay, I'll address that. Thank you so much for that question. I'll address that when we get into the three-day program. But for now, what does it mean when you're feeling toxic? When you say to yourself, when you hear yourself saying to yourself, I'm feeling toxic, it's your intelligence. It is your your divine intelligence that's telling you something is not right and you need to do something about it. You have choices. You can take a pill to fix your symptom. You can, um, you know, ignore it, right? Just pretend it's not happening. Or you can take charge of your health and do something. So what happens when you're feeling toxic? So the body, your beautiful body, has seven seven major organs of detox your liver everybody knows this your liver is a head honcho of detox right he is a big boy but he has six helpers he has the colon he has the kidneys he has the lungs he has his sinuses he has his lymphatic system and he has the largest organ in the body of detox your skin so when your body is in toxic overload, it means there's so much acid in your system, right? And acid comes not just from the food that we eat or what we are drinking. Acid comes from stress. It comes from toxic people. It comes from toxic environments. It comes from pollution. It comes from toxic workplaces and it internalizes in your body and becomes acidic. So nine times out of 10, when you're feeling, I feel toxic, it means your body actually feels acidic. And being acidic can cause a whole host of problems that we're gonna discuss. <coughs> but what happens when your body cannot handle these beautiful seven natural detox organs in your body in your body can't handle the amount of acid right you are it then starts to dump acid out into your bloodstream what does acid do acid destroys acid corrodes acid burns so just imagine here is your beautiful um circulatory system the blood is flowing through all the veins arteries capillaries in and out of the heart getting oxygen, getting nutrients, getting vitamins, phytominerals, everything. But all of a sudden, dump of acid goes into the bloodstream. Well, the body or your red blood cells do two things when your body is in acidic overload. It does two things. 
One thing it does is red blood cells start to huddle up together. They start to join up together, so they kind of protect themselves from this onslaught of acid. So instead of these beautiful red blood cells flowing through your body, they're huddling up together and forming like sludge. So what happens if your red blood cells are moving around inside your body like sludge? You're gonna feel like what? Exactly, you're gonna feel like sludge. You're gonna feel like you're just moving through your days without any pep in your step and you feel exhausted all the time. So that's one thing that your red blood cells do to protect themselves from acid. The other thing these beautiful God-given red blood cells do to protect themselves from acid is they form a membrane, a protective membrane around them, a mucous membrane. Do you know what that mucous membrane is made from? Anybody can guess? Write it down, say it in the comments. Nobody? Okay, that membrane is made from cholesterol. Cholesterol is like this mucus barrier. Cholesterol is actually a good thing. But when there is too much acid in your body, your liver overproduces cholesterol to try and protect your organs and your red blood cells from this acid that is burning and corroding. And therefore, most people who are feeling toxic, if you take a blood test, you'll also find that your cholesterol levels are elevated, right? It is so interesting and amazing how the body works. So here comes the body with all this acid, the liver is overproducing cholesterol to form a mucus barrier around the organs, the tissues, the stomach lining, the joints to protect the acid going in. But what else is, if you're creating this barrier from the acid going in, you're also creating a barrier for the good things that your body needs to go in, like oxygen, like vitamins, like minerals, like phytonutrients, like water, hydration, cannot get in efficiently because there's this block around your red blood cells to protect it from the acid. So I hope this makes sense. So when... We are in this acidic overload. And remember, acidic overload comes from processed foods, too much animal products, too much sugar and carbohydrates, of course, too much alcohol and caffeine. I'm going to talk a little bit more about caffeine when we get into the three-day detox program. Um, it comes from the air that we're breathing. Again, it comes from the water that we're drinking. Remember, acidic rain. <laughs> so uh, the rain is already our environment is acidic. We get water from the sky, from the clouds. It comes through this acid. It's acidic water that we're drinking. Let me take a sip. I actually purify my water majorly. I'll show you guys this. You're going to love this. This was my birthday gift from my husband, but this is how I purified my water. This is a beautiful decanter with amethyst, rose quartz, crystals in it. And that is what I use, as well as my filter to purify my body. So, but also acidic overload comes from stress. And I don't know anybody in the world right now that's under, not under some degree of stress. We are living in different times, guys. Our parents, your mother and father, are not experiencing the level of stress that we are experiencing right now in society. These phones, oh, I didn't remember, didn't uh, forgot to say because my son has my cell phone. These little New parts of our bodies that are always attached to us call this cause the cell phone, even the computer that I'm sitting in front of or the TV, they're emitting radiation into your body, which also turns into acid. So we, it's not that any one thing is bad for you. It is a cumulative effect of all these forces coming to us all the time in the modern world. Why I think it is absolutely necessary for every one of us to take little periodic times out to detox our body, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. Hi, honey, I want to work Okay. I didn't tell him 20 times, but it's okay. 
So I hope that makes sense to you about what's happening inside your body when you're in toxic overload and how you get there. You see, dis-ease and dysfunction in your body thrives on acid. You know this. You know you've heard this, that cancer thrives in an acidic state. It does not like an alkaline state. My intention with my programs is to move you from an acidic state to an alkaline state. As my favorite, favorite, all-time motivational guru, Tony Robbins says, you have to alkalize to energize. You can never, ever lose weight, if that's a goal for you, unless your body's in an alkaline state. And I'm going to explain that. Your body is going to hold on to inflammation unless your endocrine, your hormonal system is in balance and you are an, in an alkaline state inside your own body. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to talk about the 12 signs that you may be in toxic overload. And I'm going to ask you, as I mention one, right, please just comment, right? You can, you can be anonymous. I'm not going to call anybody's name out here. If you are feeling one or more of these symptoms and which one you are feeling, and if it's happening for more than a month, for more than six weeks, if you've been feeling in this state, for more than six weeks, right? Okay, so these are some of the common signs that you may be in toxic overload. Number one is the first one that led me to this entire journey, and I say thank God every day for it because I wouldn't be doing what I am doing in the world right now if I wasn't suffering from this awful indigestion problem. Everything that I ate seemed to swell my belly up. Like it got so swollen, I had to unbuckle my pants. I had to lie down, burning, burning, burning in my stomach. I was taking Nexium, which is a very, very strong antacid. Nothing was working. So if you're suffering from any kind of indigestion problems, I'm talking about bloating, I'm talking about gas, I'm talking about diarrhea or constipation, you know when your digestive system is off, right? You're burping, you're farting, let's get real here. Something is wrong inside your gut. Seriously, guys, if you're feeling this way for an extended period of time, this is a serious one, okay? There are, all these 12 major signs are just your body saying, hello, we can fix it, but you need to give me some attention. So indigestion. The next one is sinuses, and these are in no order of importance, right? Sinus issues, allergies. You're always streaming or coughing, or your eyes get swollen. You get every, you know, you're allergic to a lot of things, pollen. You're constantly stuffy. Remember, your sinuses are a huge organ of detox. That's another sign if you've been like that for more than a month. Migraines headaches, frequent headaches, migraines that debilitate you, frequent headaches, that's a sign. Skin conditions, so like adult acne, all of a sudden you're breaking out on your face or you're itching in your elbows or in your scalp or somewhere in your body or you're breaking out with some weird looking stuff on your skin. That's another major sign. Remember, your skin is the largest organ of detox. Keep going. If you're feeling any of these things, I want you to put them in the comments, please. The next thing is insomnia. Oh my God. If you're not sleeping at night, solid, sweet, seven to eight hours of sleep, it is going to throw your entire system off, right? So it's kind of like the catch 22. You get toxic overload, which causes the insomnia, or you get the insomnia, which causes a toxic overload. Because if you're not getting your eight hours sleep, which is a time when your body naturally does its detox process. So this is where, when you're sleeping, that's where the liver, the sinuses, the kidney, the colon, the skin, all of those organs get up and do their work while you're sleeping. So if you're not getting that deep rest, your body is going to go into an unbalanced state. So unable to sleep. And another one is you are sleeping like crazy, almost sleeping too much, but yet you're always tired. Like you're moving through mud, you're feeling sluggish. Remember, the red blood cells are coagulating. You feel sluggish inside, right? 
So no matter, even if you're getting those eight hours of sleep, you're always tired, chronic fatigue syndrome, huge sign. Another one that so many of us suffered from, and so did I, anxiety, depression, moodiness, just not feeling that inner joy that you know you usually are, that joy de vivre, that sense of excitement about life. You're just, you're just in a dead space. No, it's okay to be in that dead space for a while, that void, that emptiness, because sometimes that is a sign that we're making a big shift in our life. But if you feel like you've been there too long, that's something that we need to look at, right? And we can heal that through a detox. Um, other signs are debilitating PMS or early onset of menopause, which is what happened to me when I was just exhausted, helping way too many people and not taking care of myself. And that's why you saw, those of you that are following me for a long time, you saw me a couple of years ago, take a pause, men o pause. When I went into men o pause, I actually took a pause. I took a step back to reevaluate my life and to remember that I gotta look, care, look, take care of me first before I take care of anybody else. So PMS or debilitating menopause symptoms. Um, joint pain, this is huge. And I've seen this in younger and younger people. Arthritis in your 30s and 20s. Joint pain, soreness everywhere. Your body just doesn't feel right. It's, you can almost feel the acid in your joints. Um, frequent cold and illnesses and flus, whatever is going around, you catch it. Whatever virus is going around, you get it. You're always sick. Um, we know so many people like that. Here's a big one, and I did not have a clue this was associated with, with being toxic. Focusing your mind. You just can't focus. You can't sit down and complete a task. You can't dive deep into everything, anything. You can't remember where you left your car keys. You walk into a room and you don't know why. Anybody been there? Unable to concentrate, focus. That is a huge one. And last but not least, you think you're doing everything right. You are working your butt off in the gym. You think you're eating correctly, but you're unable to lose those vanity pounds. There's a, like a tire, especially around the belly area. There's like a ring of inflammation, a spare tire around your belly. So my friends, these are the 12 sort of major signs that your body is saying, hello, I'm trying to tell you something. Would you wake up and look in the mirror? You can take a pill for all of these things and make them go away, right? All of these things, you can take a pill and make them go away. Or you can ignore them and pretend they're not happening. Or you can take charge of your health and do something about it. And that's what I want to talk about in the next phase of this webinar, okay? But before we do that, let me take a little break here. Let me look at the comments. So, wow, okay, yes, 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 yes. Great information, Sharon. Yes, sinuses, mine have gotten worse for a while now. Acne, can't get rid of the acne. Like, hello, we're not teenagers here. Where's this acne coming from? Another person, the acne is killing me. Um, sinuses, migraines. Um, can these signs also relate to menopause, perimenopause? Daniel, that's a great question. Yes, some of these signs can relate to perimenopause. However, it's not necessary for you to have all of this thing because you're in perimenopause, right? All of these symptoms are not necessarily because you're in perimenopause. They could also mean because your body's in toxic overload. Um, Petra, sinuses, migraines, acne, insomnia, and you're exhausted, you always want to sleep. You're like, you know, perfect candidate. And please, Petra, I was there, except for the sinuses have never been my thing, or migraines, but the acne, the insomnia, the exhaustion, the anxiety, that was me eight years ago. Um, blotting is my, bloating, I think you're saying, Laverne, bloating is my issue. Yes, that was me. My stomach would literally swell up like a frog, and I did not know, which I'll explain about a little bit later, but I did not know till I 
came off my detox that it wasn't the caffeine that was causing it it wasn't the um wine that was causing this it was actually wheat and i realized that i had a wheat intolerance um truly may eczema actually chronic anxiety hormonal issues you see the reason that we are having hormonal issues is that we are living in a world where we are exposed to what are called endocrine inhibitors everywhere in our environment. What are endocrine inhibitors? Endocrine inhibitors are toxic substances that we're either breathing in, ingesting, or putting on our bodies that are disrupting the optional, optional functioning of our hormonal system endocrine so your hormonal system is known as your endocrine system so endocrine disruptors can be in the cleaning products that we're using in our house it can be on the 512 different chemicals we're putting on our bodies especially as women before we leave the house from our makeup to our body lotion to our shampoo to our conditioner our hair product to our nail polish by the way I'm a huge convert. This is called Dazzle Dry. It's a non-toxic, amazing uh, nail nail polish that I recently discovered that lasts like two weeks and is non-toxic and best of all dries in five minutes. Dazzle Dry, check it out. I'm a Dazzle Dry babe. Um, the lotions, the perfumes, the makeup, the all the stuff. And the average woman walks out of our house every day with 512 different chemicals, the average woman, on our bodies. These are disrupting our endocrine system. Okay, the toxic air that we're breathing, disrupting our endocrine system. So what a detox does is give your system a break and bring you back into hormonal balance. Oh boy, somebody has had, okay, joint pains, Joint pains, again, that is huge. You know, I'd love to know some of you guys, Sandra and Michaela, that are having joint pains. How old are you, Trudy May, your knees? How old are you? Yup, Yannick says, for months now, I am unable to focus. Yes, brain fog. You're just like, you're not present. You're not here. Roxanne says, yup, she has all 12. Baby, I was there with you. Nicola said, I thought that some of these symptoms are due to increasing age. Nicola let me just stop you in your tracks right now, okay? I am 54 years old. There is nothing on this list that I'm feeling, not a pain in my body, no migraines, no anxiety. I have go through periods where something will come up, but I have learned the tools to bring my body back into balance really quickly, and that's what I want to teach you. No, this is not something that happens as you age. This is a sign that your body is just not functioning well and we can bring it back into balance naturally. Um, Camilla says eczema and acne too. Christina has 12 of these. Dottie sinuses, joint pain, big brain fog. Sorry about that phone. What is the brand of nail polish? I knew you guys were going to ask that. Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry. Look at this. I've had this on for a week. I'm a yoga teacher. I cannot keep a mani-pedi for more than two days without it chipping, toxic, free, beautiful. It's even vegan. Um, knee issues, eczema, dazzle dry, got it. Okay, so moving on from these 12 signs of toxic overload. Let me tell you what happens if you don't address these issues. Okay, these are just nagging signs. We can go through our day feeling indigestion, right? We can handle the sinus, we take a, whatever it is you take for sinus, um, we can handle a little joint pain, but what happens over an extended period of time is that your body moves into chronic disease, right? Disease. This is where hypertension comes in. This is where gut issues come in, Crohn's disease, autoimmune disease, heart disease, cancer. I don't even want to say that word. If you do not attune to your body, over an extended period of time, a big buildup of acid in your system will lead you to chronic disease, and we don't want that. I want you to be healthy, thriving, and not just surviving, okay? There's no reason that
that each and every one of us cannot feel in optimal health. Okay? There's one more comment. Yes. Inflammation systems. Inflammation. Why are we inflamed? Why do we want to get rid of the inflammation? The inflammation is your body sending that mucus protective barrier to protect you on the inside. So let me explain to you what inflammation is. Say you got a cut right here, a slice. You were in the kitchen and you got sliced right here. First, you're going to bleed. You're going to feel the sting and the pain. You're going to dress it and so on. You're going to stabilize your hand. And then what happens? You see a mucus starting to form between the two sides of skin. This mucus, why is it there? Your body produces it, sends it to that area. Body is so amazing. Sends it to that area as a barrier to stop bacteria from coming in and causing further infection, right? Make sense? And eventually that mucus gets thicker and allows its skin to come back together and naturally repair itself. So just imagine that your stomach, just imagine what the inside of your stomach or your gut looks like if it's full of acid. Your body is also sending that mucus down into the stomach lining to protect it. And therefore, you feel that swelling, that bloating. Or let's say it's your knee and your body is sending mucus down to your knee. You feel your knee swelling up. Your body is trying to protect itself, right? It's forming this mucus barrier. You may see some water there as well, some, you know, spongy water. Your body is just protecting itself. That is overproduction of mucus, which is what we call inflammation. You know it when your sinuses are inflamed, right? So that is how the body works on the inside. Now, I, I should have said this before. Remember, I am not a medical doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I'm just sharing information that I have lived in my own body, and I have taken now hundreds of people just like you through my program and help them to come to a state of optimal wellness. And I want to help you to do the same too. So what can you do about this? What can you do about this? I have a famous saying, it says, if you want to detox, it takes three days to let go, seven days to renew, and 21 days to a whole new you. That quote is so right on that it was put into this great little book that's on Amazon called The Book of Inspiring and Thought-Provoking Health Quotes on page 57. So it's right here along with some other quotes, and don't ask me how they found me all the way in Jamaica, but I'm in this book because this particular saying of mine comes from experience. I've watched countless women and men go through my program but the first three days, their body's letting go of toxins. Seven days do they feel amazing. And if they're very, very much in chronic toxic overload, 21 days it takes to really transform from a cellular level. But I'm just going to start with what you can do with three days. Because sometimes if you've never done a detox, seven days sounds completely intimidating. So in my program that I've created... Um, it was originally called the Live Fit Detox Program. Remember, my mantra is live fit, live life, live love. Um, I also have an online model that's called Shakti Activation, where I'm combining the detox with yoga, meditation, and self-care. But we'll talk about that. But basically, the five pillars of my Live Fit Detox Program are eliminate, incorporate, accelerate, motivate, and reinstate. What does that mean? So what do we need to eliminate? Now, what I'm going to say to you right now, these, these substances, what I call the bad boys, you can call them the bad girls if you want, in their own or a little bit of a time, a, a little bit of indulgence in them is not a bad thing. But if you want to get your body into balance, you have to give your body a break from the following for a period of time. And we're just going to start with a three-day block. The bad boys are sugar in all its forms, 
alcohol. Yes, wine is alcohol. Wheat, this is a tricky one. Wheat is in so many things, and I'm also talking about wheat and gluten. So I'm talking about bread, pasta, any form of white rice or white flours. I am talking about crackers and chips, right? Wheat is even found in strange places like soy sauce. You're going to eliminate wheat from your diet. You're going to eliminate, so we said um, sugar, alcohol, wheat. You're going to eliminate dairy. So we all grew up, you know, with going to school here in Jamaica with the food pyramid, which said you must eat as many carbohydrates as possible. You must drink your milk and eat your cheese. You know, you have your protein up here and maybe your fruits and vegetables up here. My model turned that food pyramid upside down on its head and said, mostly plants, only super complex carbohydrates in moderation, only lean protein from animal sources, but better yet from vegetables. So like your nuts, your seeds, your legumes, your beans, and then very, very little of um sugars or sweets or so on so i literally have turned that pyramid upside down so you're going to eliminate sugar alcohol wheat dairy now caffeine is very important if you on my program i allow you one cup of black coffee a day the reason i do this is for those of you that are coffee addicts and i have great affection if affinity for you because I am one of those that just loves my coffee. If you go cold turkey giving up your coffee, you're going to suffer so badly through your three-day detox that you're probably going to give up. So we start to eliminate the coffee on the detox. You can start with day one with one cup. Day two of your detox, you have half a cup. Day three of your detox, you have a quarter cup. And maybe if you continue your detox, you'll find that you just don't need the caffeine anymore because you're now starting to feel like yourself again, full of energy. So we eliminate also all acidic producing foods. What are acidic producing foods? Some of them actually may surprise you. So any kind of citrus except lemon or limes, any nightshades. So nightshades are eggplants, bell peppers, um, white potatoes, eggplant and tomatoes now you're like how can I cook without tomatoes it's not easy but yes you can cook up without tomatoes now eggplant potatoes red bell peppers and tomatoes are not really bad for you but we're going to eliminate as much acid out of our diet as possible during those three days so we're going to take those out we're also going to take out strawberries very acidic grapes very acidic we're only going to put alkalining foods into our bodies. And the other thing that we're going to eliminate is all processed foods. So nothing from three for those three days comes out of a bag, a box, or a tin. And if it has more than three ingredients, you're not going to eat it, okay? So we're going to go to really basic, healthy, organic as possible foods from the earth. And I provide all the recipes, okay? So I told you what we're going to eliminate. Now, what are we going to incorporate? Hang on a second, let me hydrate. So most detox programs, when you hear the word detox, you think about starvation. There is absolutely no starvation in my program. In fact, I personally feel it's almost dangerous to like just do an extended juice fast for too long because your body is throwing toxins into the bloodstream and eliminating and you're going to feel very kind of sick at the beginning so i like to incorporate high vitality food into my diet while i'm eliminating the bad boys so on my program you wake up in the morning the first thing that you have is a glass of lemon or lime water okay lemon or lime water are the only citrus fruits that are alkaline when ingested into the body they also help to kick start your detox process in the liver. So you're gonna start as you arise with a room temperature or warm glass of lemon or lime water. Then you're going to have a green shake. Why? 
because a green shake is alkalining. It is the fastest, quickest way to get all those amazing vitamins, phytonutrients, minerals, hydration into your body, fiber. So I'm not talking about a juice. I'm actually talking about a shake where everything is blended up together and you don't strain it out so that you could keep the fiber. Fiber is so key to moving toxins out your body. Then you have a very small breakfast, and then lunch is your main meal. At lunchtime, we follow the 80 10 10 rule where 80% of your plate is plants, 10% is protein, whether it comes from animal, chicken, or fish, or beans. 10% is complex carbohydrates. So I'm talking about things like yam, or breadfruit, or cocoa, or plantain, or green banana or quinoa or brown rice, but no white flours, processed carbohydrates at all. And then you also have, so 80% of the plate is plant-based, 10% animal protein, 10% complex carbohydrates, and a healthy dose of healthy fats, whether a piece of avocado, some nuts and seeds, some olive oil in your dressing, that is what I'm talking about, and lunch is your main meal. You have another shake or a light afternoon snack, maybe a granola bar, give you all these recipes. And then in the evening is always soup and salad for dinner. They're having a liquid breakfast or shake in the morning for dinner, for breakfast, sorry, and a liquid meal for dinner. And I'll explain why when we go into moving from what we eliminate to what we incorporate to how we accelerate. So how do we accelerate? If I only have you for three days on a detox or you are taking three days out of your schedule that fits your schedule to detox, you also want to accelerate it, right? You want to help your body along. So what can you do? First of all, you must take a break for 12 hours from the last meal that you have at night, that soup. Let's say if you have your soup at seven, nothing else goes in your body but water or herbal tea 7 a.m. the next morning so that you're giving your digestive system 12 hours of fasting that's why we do break fast you want to fast for those 12 hours to give your body time to do the job of digestion you want to sleep yes for those three days you're going to turn your smartphones and your TVs and your computers off by nine o'clock at the latest so that you're asleep by 10, then you can get your seven to eight hours of sleep. That is a game changer on your program. Remember on your program, remember and when I was talking about your detox organs, your lungs, your skin, you are going to move your body so that you're breathing more and that you're getting a light sweat on your body so that you're eliminating toxins through your skin you're also going to hydrate you're going to be at drinking at least half your body weight in ounces of water per day so do the math if you weigh 120 pounds you are going to be drinking 60 ounces minimum of water every day plus an additional eight ounces for every hour that you exercise or if it's super hot if you live in jamaica and super hot even another eight ounces on top of that You're going to hydrate to get the body to flush out the toxins, okay? Those are the ways that you're going to accelerate this movement of toxins out your body, all right? And then not only are you going to accelerate, we're going to motivate. So you can do this on your own, okay? You can grab a body, pick a tab three days in your calendar. You can do this on your own, right? Or you can join my three-day detox because there is nothing better than doing this with a group. I can tell you, I've tried a gazillion times to do a detox on my own. It is really hard unless you have somebody that you're accountable to. It's just too easy to cheat. So having this tribe to do it with is amazing. And then that that's how we motivate each other. It's going to be a collective group of us doing this detox. If you can't join my free detox June 4, 5, and 6, then pick a date that you can have a get a detox buddy to do it with you. And another way that we're going to help you move the toxins 
is through that three-day detox, I'm going to be giving you some breathing techniques and simply yoga-based exercises to help you to work on those major organs of detox. So I've designed a style of yoga to go with my detox programs. It came literally as a divine download about two years into doing this program. I just received the information in my head how to help people speed up the process through yoga. So I created a special style of yoga that goes with this, that you're gonna get some free classes where you use a lot of breath work to move the toxins out of your lungs. So 80% of your toxins leave the body through your breath, and most of us are not breathing enough. We're gonna to work to get a light sweat on to get the toxins moving out of your skin. We're going to work on poses that squeeze and moist, uh, Massage your liver, your colon, your kidneys, right? And also your sinuses through the deep breathing. So you're going to get some motivation through the yoga and meditation. Let me tell you something. Most of our detox issues are not what we are putting into our bodies. It's all what we are saying to ourselves. We are our worst enemy. We are the ones that are telling ourselves all this toxic information. Through guided meditation, I'm going to teach you how to come out of your head and into your heart. You can really remember who you truly are, and you are not your thoughts, right? You are not those habitual negative thoughts that you keep telling yourself. And we're going to remember that we're beautiful spiritual beings having a human experience. And whatever we're going through in life is okay. We're just going to meet ourselves where we're at for those three days. And just have the relief that it's okay. No matter what we're going through, it's okay. Everything is in divine order, right? And I want to take you into that space inside where you're like, I can deal with everything that comes my way. All right, so we're going to eliminate. We're going to incorporate. We're going to accelerate. We're going to motivate each other. And then hopefully at the end of it all, I reinstate you back into your life with a set of tools that if you want to continue the program for another seven, you know, for seven days, you can. If you want to continue for 21 days, you can. You will have all the tools necessary. And I'm giving you this gift for free. Why? I said it earlier. If you know me, you know that this is my mission in life is to help every single person I know live it live life, live love. And this is just my giving back to you for all the incredible support that I've had throughout the years. So here is the next phase. So this is what I want to, to talk about now, what the three-day detox is going to look like. If you see that little green button right below me there, it says, join me for my free three-day detox. So all you need to do is click that link, right? The detox will run June, so let me make sure I have my calendar here, 4, 5, and 6. That is a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Why did I choose Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and not a weekend? I chose those days because I want you to do this program while you're going about your life, while you're going to work, while you're dropping the kids to school, while you're dealing with Whatever it is that you do in life, my job is to help you learn these practices, not just in optimal situations, but in real life situations so that you know how to, to do it for your life, okay? So that's why I chose a Tuesday to Thursday. Also, if you want to continue, then it's a great way to continue right through, to, through the weekend, yeah? And continue. So somebody asked why Tuesday to Thursday. Okay, so on this free three-day detox, I have so many surprises. I've never done this before, but things just divine intervention and divine friends that I have made in this online world have come together and are joining me. So on those three days, I am going to be hanging out in beautiful Treasure Beach, Jamaica. If anybody knows Treasure Beach, it's a little small community fishing village on the south coast of Jamaica. I have a little tiny home there. And my friends, three of my 
friends, amazing friends in this online space. Jessica in the kitchen, who has a vegan blog. Look her up, write her down, check her on Instagram. Jessica in the kitchen, who is vegan. Um, Camilla McDonald, who many of you may, may know, she probably has, she's probably the biggest influencer in Jamaica in the world of fitness and health. She's amazing. And her thing is 30 minute workout sessions. And her sister, the beautiful Kimani McDonald, who has just become a certified, Danielle, you did your yoga teacher training with Kamani. Um, Kamani is not only a yoga teacher, did my yoga teacher training with me. She's now a fully functional medical doctor. So she's amazing. So she's going to talk about detox and hormones from a completely medical standpoint. And why I don't have that medical background to be able to back up what I'm saying from an actual medical standpoint. The four of us girls are going to be taking this program together in Treasure Beach while we have a crew filming us going through the program together and also just giving you so much content and juicy stuff to motivate you along the journey. It's going to be so awesome and it is free. What my intention is, if you love this free three-day program, is that in September, at the end of September, you will sign up for my $97 Shakti Activation Yoga Detox and Self-Care Program, which is taking this free three-day program, but just blowing it out into this incredible online seven-day program that we do globally, where you get seven beautifully filmed yoga sessions, seven beautiful meditations, seven days of detox with recipes from my Lip Fit Kitchen cookbook, and it's just amazing. So that is what those three-day, this three-day um, detox is going to be about June 4, 5, and 6. All you need to do right now is click the link and make sure you register. Once you register on Friday, just before, so on Friday, the 31st of May, you will be getting your own detox manual. It will be a step-by-step -step guide with recipes and a shopping list. And there will be a completely vegan menu if you're a vegan or want to just eat totally um, animal-free for those three days. Or there will be a couple of recipes that have fish. I probably won't even include chicken at all. We're going to go mostly plants. And you will get a free yoga uh, video from me that you can do every day along with the program and a free meditation from me that you can do along with the program. And again, we'll be zapping in with Camilla and Kimani and Jessica with just their wealth of knowledge and expertise that motivate you and just inform you about why this is such an important healing tool, detoxing in this way is such an important health tool that we all need in the world that we're living in now. So I'm going to wrap this up by saying I love you. If there are any questions, I'm going to put my glasses back on. Any questions about this at all, put them in the chat right now so I can address them. If you're watching the replay, you can email me, Sharon at SharonFiani.com if you have questions. If you're ready and saying a big wholeheartedly yes, sign up. But before you do that, I want you to check your schedule and make sure on the 4th, 5th, and 6th of June, you don't have any major events. Like I don't want you to have like the mother-in-law that's stressing you out visiting you that day. Or I don't want you to have some major presentation at work or anything major. I want you to be going to work, going about your day, but you're really going to take a little extra time just for you. Self-care is key here. So I hope this has been informative. Let me pause right now and check the questions. Um, Daniela, I recent, recently started replacing my warm lemon water to ginger tea in the morning. What do you think about that? Ginger tea is amazing. Why don't you combine the both? That would be optimal, um, Danielle, to combine the both. 
Um, Sheila, hello from Hutoluco, Mexico. Hola, Sheila, lovely to have you. Roxanne, thank you, looking forward. Okay, so I'm about to wrap this up. Let's take one more breath together. Again, if you have any questions after this, email me, Sharon at SharonFiani.com. If you're ready to rock and roll, sign up right now for the free program. It's going to be so amazing. And these girls, these beautiful women I have joining me, I just am so excited. So bring your hands together in prayer. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and just ha ah, and let it go one more time. Breathe in. Ha. Ah. Thank you so much for being who you are, for taking the time out of your busy day to join me. Please share the replay of this program with anybody in your world that you know needs it. I really am here to serve. My intention is to help you live fit with life with love. Can't wait to take you on this journey. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Have a beautiful weekend. Goodbye, everybody.